Yeah, get some energy, man. What's up, GQ? My name is Quincy Isaiah, and these are my 10 essential items. Let's see what we have. Right here, I have the first uh, live show I ever did in college. It was called Sketch and Etch. It was a sketch comedy show. We did two nights, sold out both of them. It started my journey of doing shows in college. I was able to go see The Lion King going into my senior year. And that was the first Broadway show I was able to see. Led into the thing that got me to this place right now, Raising in the Sun, which is a script I used in college. and. You got like all the notes and uh, my highlights. This one I knew I wanted to act, so this book means a lot to me. Prior to doing The Raisin, I was actually majored in business. And going into my senior year, that's when I switched my major from business to theater. This is when I knew that I made a good decision. After the second night, I believe, I went to the lobby and I got a standing ovation in the lobby. The feeling of just that I was able to touch people and affect people, I think was really what I fell in love with. Thank you, Lorraine Hansberry, for writing such a beautiful story. From Mr. John C. Riley himself, Dr. Jerry Buss. It's a replica of the actual Lakers 1980 championship ring. With love from JCR. Just being a, uh, a part of such a great group and a great cast and a great crew, the ring, shows that you know we won the championship because we was the best it's the best show on tv right now i'm biased but i said it so that's what i feel this right here is getting inside the mind of a young quincy when i really got into acting and started understanding the craft of it and again just my thoughts and all the plays that i was able to see in college that i was able to use as fuel to get to this point. After I graduated college, I moved out here to LA, went on auditions, a lot of auditions. Most of the stuff that I actually booked was unpaid. Luckily, I was able to get an agent using those reels. This journal shows when you focus on the work, that's where you can not be scared of like what's gonna happen. When I look through this journal and just like see where my thoughts were and where my head was during this time, I set myself up to get to this point and I'm not gonna let myself down without um, without a fight. This journal actually lives in my nightstand right next to my bed. I don't I don't look at it that often, but I know it's there. It's about setting goals and, and figuring it out from there. Ooh, what do we have here? Moisturizing lip balm. Playing magic, they ask me to like smile a lot. Naturally I smile a lot anyway, but when you when you playing magic, you gotta smile a lot bigger. And when you smile, your lips can crack sometimes to keep the lips nice and moisturized so they don't get chapped. I thank you, Burt's Bees, for keeping my lips from bleeding on my co-stars. <laughs> <laughs> this might be one of the most important items on the list because it holds all my other items, my bag. Somebody got it for me when uh, we came back for season one to shoot the rest of the nine episodes. So we shot the first episode in 2019, shot the last nine in 2021. And I didn't think I would use it, cause like, and I love bags. Like I love a good backpack, a strong sturdy backpack. But I was like, maybe this is a little too flashy. But then I started using it. And I was like, nah, it's just flashy enough. So I get compliments on it all the time. It's my travel size. Smell good, bond number nine. I was actually uh, dating somebody and I was told that I needed a signature smell. I can't get enough of it. And I hope that they send me some more. I really enjoy it. And it's from New York. I love New York. I hear I give really good hugs and I think this has a little bit something to do with it, so. It's my Epicurean for my face. I'll be getting uh, compliments. They be like, you're glowing. Like, what's happened? I try and use it every day, uh, wash my face. Get out the shower, I spray my little mist and close them pores and then I slap this on there. My skincare routine has definitely evolved, much like my smell good game. Take care of your body. You gotta put lotion on your hands, put moisturizer on your face, put deodorant under your arms. I've grown in my skincare routine. I have a lot of people to thank for that. One of the main ones was uh, Karen. She was the makeup artist on our show. 
and like my face would break out a lot and she got me this stuff and this is what kind of helped clear it up and I've been sticking with it ever since. We got some knowledge. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. This is one that I'm really trying to sit down and break into. It's told me not to take things personal. Some people have bad days and some people have good days and regardless of how they treat you, it's, it's not a reflection of you, it's a reflection of them and where they are in their life. I can't even speak to that on uh, the show. First episode, Devon Nixon playing his dad, Norm Nixon, whooped Magic's butt in a one-on-one -on -one game. And I felt like I was getting my butt whooped and I didn't like that feeling. I didn't take it personally and I understood that it was about to work. It's another gift I got from my nutritionist, a water bottle. Stay hydrated, especially when you out here moving around and 14 hours on set, it's good to have one of these close by. I notice if I don't drink enough water, I'm not focused. You can use it as a weapon if need be. It keeps your water nice and cold or nice and hot, depending on how you like your water. Hey, if you like hot water, you're weird. So that's on you my laptop this thing right here this great block of technology i actually just got this too because my my old one died on me but i had it for like 10 years so hopefully this one lasts another 10 years and this is what a lot of work gets done on read a lot of scripts on this thing whatever i need to do is happening probably on this be productive which I'm not always. But when I am being productive, it's probably on this thing right here. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoy my essentials. Peace.